Mystery is Tiny Creatures, The World of Microbes by Nicola Davies. <clears throat> now, you know all about big animals, and you know all about small animals. But do you know that there are creatures so tiny that millions could fit on an ant's antenna? So tiny that we would have to make the ant's antenna as big as a whale just to show them to you. They don't have eyes, heads, or legs, branches, roots, or leaves because they aren't animals or plants, but they are alive. They are called microbes, and there are lots of them. A single drop of seawater can hold 20 million microbes. That's about the same number of people that live in New York State. Or maybe it's the city. And a teaspoon of soil can have as many as a billion microbes. That's about the same number of people that live in the whole country of India. Microbes live everywhere, in the sea, on the land, in the soil, in the air. They live in places where nothing else does, like in volcanoes, inside rocks, or on the back of your fridge. They also live on the outside and the inside of plants and animals. Right now, there are more microbes living on your skin than there are people on this earth. And there are 10 or even 100 times as many as that living inside your stomach. Don't worry, though. Although some microbes might make you sick, the ones that live in you and on you, these are the ones that help you and keep you safe and well. But even though they're too small to see, they are not all the same. There are lots of different kinds. More than there are different kinds of animals and plants. Some are tinier than others, and some are different sizes, just like ants and whales can be different sizes. This is the polio virus that is one of the smallest microbes. And this is the paramecium. This is 2,000 times bigger than the polio virus. Both microbes are at different sizes and shapes. Here, under a microscope, we can see what different microbes might look like. Some microbes can be round or skinny. Some have wiggly tails or look like daisies. Some look like necklaces. Some look like spaceships. Some are squishy. And some look like shells. Different sizes, different looks. Microbes can eat anything. Anything. Plants, animals, live or dead animals. Even oil and rocks. They're too small to have mouths, so they just soak it up for what they need and soak it through their skin. And that's why things microbes eat don't disappear in bites. They change slowly into something else. Food, when microbes eat it, slowly turns into compost. Milk slowly turns into yogurt by using microbes, and even hard rocks will eventually turn into dirt and soil with microbes. And when microbes are well fed, they are really, really good at making more microbes. So simply split, here's one, 20 minutes later, there are two, then four, then eight, then 16, and then starting with just one microbe, a type of called E. coli, which of course would be far too small for you to see. It would take 11 and a half hours for there to be enough E. coli to fill this space. And 20 minutes after it got this big, it would double, split, and it would now be this big. Because now the E. coli microbes are easy to see. And that's why it takes only a few of the wrong kinds of microbes, the kinds we call germs, to get us sick. 
Now a mosquito can eat. They can get in through your mouth or through a cut, sometimes through an insect's butt. Then once inside you, where it's warm and well fed, they split and split and split until just a few germs have become thousands, even millions of germs. They're still tiny, but there's now enough of them. So it's best to stop them from getting in. And luckily only a few kinds of microbes can make humans sick. Most microbes are busy doing the other thing. Eating the bug. And because microbes are so good at making more microbes, some of the very things they do are very, very big. They can wear down mountains, build up cliffs, they can stain the sea red, turn the sky cloudy, and even make snowflakes grow. They recycle everything that dies to make soil so that new life can sprout, and they help make our air good to breathe. And all over the earth and all over time, tiny micro microbes are eating and eating and eating and eating and splitting and splitting and splitting until they are changing one thing into another. They are invisible transformers of our world. The tiniest lives are making some of the biggest germs. The